Hello, this is Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. One of the questions I often get asked is, Mike, what echo preset do you use on voiceovers? Well, in this short tutorial, I'll show you. Here's a voiceover I did earlier for a fictional station, Mix FM. This is Mix FM. Now, I've already heavily edited that vocal to work with 120 beats per minute. So let's head into the multi-track and drag in that 120 BPM music bed. There it is, and here's my vocal. I'll drag that into track two. Now I'm going to add an echo preset by going into the presets, delay and echo, echo, and then I've got my own custom preset called Mic Echo. And you can see all the settings here. That's my default echo that I use. I like to echo one beat on the left channel and two beats on the right channel so you get a nice stereo fading effect. And as you can see over here on the successive echo equalization, I'm focusing on the mid range and pulling out the treble and bass as the echo decays. Now to sync the echo nicely with any track, no matter what BPM it's at, I've got a handy little tool that I'll link to in the notes to this video that can calculate your beats per minute. Now here it's set to 120 BPM and on the left channel it's telling me 500 milliseconds for one beat and 1000 milliseconds for the second beat on the right channel. So I'll just do that now. 500 and on the right channel 1000, leaving the echo equalization exactly the same. Get rid of that now. And let's zoom in and just make sure that voice is nicely synced up to the bed so it's going to sound good. And that should be about right. Now let's take a listen to that echo in action. This is Mix FM. Now I'll show you how to easily up the tempo on your echo for a different bed over different beats per minute. So let's drag in this 130 BPM bed over here and then copy my vocal further down the multi track and zoom in so we can focus in on that bit. Uh, the first thing obviously you'll probably notice is that my vocals won't be nicely synced up to 130 so I'm just going to use the Adobe Audition real-time stretch to tweak that just a little bit so that fits nicely and then I just simply need to go into my echo preset look at the left and right bring in my beats per minute tempo calculator again and I'm just going to change that now to say 130 BPM show and it tells me that on the left channel I need 462 milliseconds on the right channel 923 milliseconds so let's do that right now now that that's done I should have a brand new echo for a bed of 130 BPM have a listen this is Mix FM. Works like a charm. Feel free to rewind this video and make a note of my echo settings and apply them to your own sessions in Adobe Audition. And head over to my channel, hit subscribe for regular radio imaging tutorials in Adobe Audition. I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com.